Hello, and welcome to the 2019 Fall Product Program online training. Before we get started, you may be asking yourself, why participate in the Fall Product Program? That's easy. The Fall Product Program is a fantastic way to get your troops started for the year. Girls learn valuable life skills through participation, including goal setting, decision making, money management, people skills, and business ethics. There are other benefits too. Funds earned help support your troop activities and your council. The program is easy and is a great practice for the girls and their caregivers in preparation for the Girl Scout Cookie Program. Statistics show girls that participate in the Fall Product Program have a higher per girl average during cookies versus girls that don't participate in the fall. Also remember, if your troop early bird registered five girls and two adults and participates in the Fall and Cookie Program, the troop will earn the cookie proceeds bonus. This year's fall product theme is Be the Difference, with the Northern White Rhino as our mascot. Troops are encouraged to learn more about this virtually extinct animal and talk about ways they can make a difference. Here are a few facts about white rhinos to get you started. As of March 2018, there are only two Northern White Rhino left, both of which are female. Their names are Fatu and Najin, and our two plush rhino rewards are named in their honor. They live in a conservatory in Kenya and are protected round the clock by armed guards. Their near extinction is due to decades of rampant poaching for rhino horn. White rhinos are the second largest land mammal, also known as the square-lipped rhinoceros. White rhinos have a square upper lip with almost no hair. Two genetically different subspecies exist, the northern and southern white rhino, and are found in two different regions in Africa. Southern white rhinos were thought to be extinct in the late 19th century, but in 1895, a small population of less than 100 individuals was discovered in South Africa. After more than a century of protection and management, they are now classified as near threatened, and 19,000 to 21,000 animals exist in protected areas and private game reserve. They are only one of the five rhino species that are not endangered. We're excited to hear about all the ways your troop will be the difference this fall. While the fall product program offers girls valuable life skills, it also helps troops earn money to kick off the membership year, as well as help support council sponsored programs and activities. Plus, if your troop qualified for early bird registration this year, by participating in the fall product program and having at least five items sold, your troop will automatically earn an additional five cents per package sold during the cookie program. This year, all troops in our council will have the same fall product timeline. Order taking begins October 11th for all troops and all troop orders must be entered into M2 by November 4th. All products will be available for pickup on November 14th through the 17th. The sale will wrap up by December 2nd with all funds due at that time. To get started, first, make sure you've chosen the fall sale manager role when you registered and also sign the online troop manager agreement form. If you didn't choose the fall sale manager role, you can log back into MyGS and choose the role or contact customer care to assist you. Once you do this, you will be sent an email confirming your role and providing you with the link to sign the online agreement form. Once the form is completed, you will be uploaded into M2 on our next upload. The first round of M2 access emails will be sent on September 27th. After you are uploaded into M2, you will receive an access email that will walk you through setting up your password. Your email address will be your username. M2 is the only site you will need to log into for the fall sale. You should log into M2 and make sure all your registered girls are showing up. Each girl that is registered in your troop will be uploaded into the M2 system. If you are missing a girl, please first log into your MyGS account and verify that she is registered. If she is, please contact customer care to get her uploaded. And just as a reminder, girls can still set up an M2 storefront even if she's not showing up on your end in the system yet. 
There are two ways girls can participate in the fall product program. Girls can choose one or both, but girls that choose both formats almost double their sales over girls that only choose to use the traditional order card. One way girls can participate is with this traditional order card. The girl will ask friends and family to purchase any of the 14 items featured on the card. She will deliver the product and collect payment when the product is delivered to the customer. Be sure to remind your girls about the Care to Share opportunity. Care to Share is where customers choose to donate $6 to Care to Share. This also counts as an item sold for the girl. At the end of the sale, Care to Share donations are totaled and items are sent to food banks in each region. This is a great way for troops to help give back to their community. Last year, Girl Scouts of Western Ohio was able to donate over 8,000 items to local food banks thanks to the Care to Share program. Girls can also set up her own storefront in the M2 system. This interactive site allows girls to set goals, post pictures and videos, and send emails to family and friends about the nut, candy, and magazine items. Girls can create their own lookalike avatar and even record their own voice to make her talk. They can also upload a selfie or video, both of which have been shown to increase sales. Participation in the online portion of the sale has been shown to yield higher sales for girls. As a reminder, girls and caregivers are free to share their online link on social media, but only on closed personal pages. Sharing to public pages or groups is not allowed. Our past sale numbers show girls who set up an M2 account and send at least 12 emails have 148% higher sales than girls who don't send any emails. So really encourage your caregivers and girls to take advantage of this easy selling opportunity. Through M2, customers can choose the direct ship option where they can choose from a full assortment of Girl Scout products and gift items from TrophyNet, as well as magazines on the website and pay with a credit card. Items ordered will be shipped directly to the customer. No product pickup, delivery, or payment collection needs to be done and every order received by November 17th will count towards her sales and troop proceeds. There is also the girl delivery option. With this option, customers can view the 14 items featured on the paper order card and have the girl deliver them. And new this year, any online girl delivery orders placed are paid for at the time with a credit card. So no money needs to be collected for any customer order placed through M2. All orders will automatically roll over into the system and show up on your troops order in M2. So the only orders that will need to be manually entered either by the caregiver or the troop manager are the totals from the orders collected on the paper order card. Again, new this year, all customer orders placed online will be paid for at that time with a credit card. This matches the online process for cookies and eliminates the need for girls to collect payments for any online orders. The only orders girls will need to collect payment for are those placed on the paper order card. All online orders and payments automatically roll over to the troop order. This is a great reason to encourage girls and caregivers to use the M2 online system. By having customers place their orders online, this reduces the amount of money caregivers have to collect, which in turn will reduce outstanding caregiver debt. Girls have an opportunity to earn a personalized avatar patch during the fall product program, in addition to other exciting rewards. To earn the patch, all girls need to do is set up an M2 storefront and send at least 12 emails through M2, then have at least $300 in overall sales. Both online and paper order card orders count. As a reminder, the 12 emails must be sent through M2 in order to count toward the patch. Girls will also have the opportunity to earn an exclusive cookie avatar patch as well. To earn this patch, girls must set up an M2 storefront and send at least 12 emails to the M2 system during the fall program. Then during the cookie program, she must sell at least 250 total packages of cookies. Avatar patches mail directly to the girls' home with fall patches starting to ship in February and cookie patches in May. This year, girls can enter to win some additional rewards. All she needs to do is set up an M2 storefront and create her avatar, send at least 12 emails in M2, and then upload her avatar to the entry form and answer the questions. 
The link to the entry form can be found in the Troop Manual and Family Guide. One lucky girl will be chosen from qualifying entries to win McKenna, the giant plush rhino. McKenna means one who gives happiness. In addition, her Troop Fall Product Manager will win $25 in digital dough. There will also be 10 runners-up chosen. These girls will each win a pair of custom Converse sneakers and the Troop Fall Product Managers will also receive a pair. Troops will earn 10% of total sales as troop proceeds. Junior, cadet, senior, and ambassador troops can decide as a troop to forego rewards and receive 12% in troop proceeds. Troops that have at least $1,200 in total sales will earn the troop bonus. This includes $25 in troop digital dough, as well as a personalized avatar patch for the troop fall product manager. A service unit bonus will be offered again this year. Service units will have the opportunity to earn a $50 bonus. Please check with your service unit fall product coordinator for details on what your service unit goal is. If you haven't already done so, you should hold a caregiver meeting prior to the start of the sale to explain the program opportunities and deadlines. Caregivers must sign a permission form in order to receive an order card. Keep these safe and do not lose them. Caregivers are responsible for all items and funds from the sale. If caregivers are separated, have each complete a permission slip and provide separate order cards. Provide each caregiver with a fall product program guide for families and instruct them to set up an M2 storefront for their daughter. Instructions are included in the guide. Online orders are paid for online with a credit card and will automatically show up in the M2 system. Caregivers can manually add any paper order card orders through November 1st straight into M2. This will save you from having to collect order cards and enter them yourself. Be sure to discuss troop goal with girls and caregivers. Let the girls play a part in deciding what the troop goals for the sale will be. Remind caregivers the importance of getting a signed receipt anytime they receive product from you or turn in money. Now let's dive into the M2 online system, which is where you as the troop manager will log in and manage your troop and sales for the fall. Once you are uploaded into M2, you will receive an access email. Access emails will start going out around September 27th and after volunteers have signed the fall sale online agreement form. Follow the instructions in this email to create your password. Once created, go to the site and click on volunteer to log in. Be sure to log in early in the sale so you familiarize yourself with the site and make sure you don't have any login issues. You don't wanna wait until the day orders are due to log in for the first time. The first page is your troop's dashboard. If you manage more than one troop, you can select the troop you want to view. Again, make sure all of your troop girls are listed in M2. If they are not and they are registered, contact customer care to get them added. Once you're logged in, you will be able to manage your troop's dashboard. This dashboard provides a snapshot of participation and sales for the entire troop. After logging in, you'll want to create your own M2 avatar and share with your girls how fun this process is. Plus remember, part of the troop bonus kit reward is a personalized avatar patch for you, the troop sale manager. Work with your troop to create a troop video. This video will play for each of the girls' potential customers. This step is optional, but has shown to increase results. Encourage your girls to create their own video at home to upload. Statistics show girls who upload a selfie increase their sales by 50%, and girls who upload a video can practically double their sales. If your girls are participating in the M2 online system, any online orders and payments will automatically show up in the system. Caregivers should also enter any of the orders collected from the paper order card into M2. You will wanna make sure parents enter these into the system, but if you do have caregivers that can't do this or have a girl who did not set up an M2 account, you as the troop manager will need to enter the orders off of their paper order cards. Remember, all online orders automatically show up, so you do not need to enter these. Entering orders from the paper card is easy. Simply log into your M2 account and click on Manage Paper Order. Select the girl and key in the quantities from the order card. You can find instructions in your troop manual on how to do this. 
And if applicable for your troop or service unit, you will need to choose a pickup location and time. Click Product Pickup in M2 and then select your desired delivery site and time. Click Save and Continue. Caregivers who set up an M2 account with their Girl Scout will be prompted to make their reward choices at the 55 and 100 item levels. However, if caregivers do not do this, you have the capability of making these choices. Simply log into M2 and click View Reward, reward Earners. Any girls with a triangle with an exclamation mark means a choice is missing. Click on the girl's name and make the selection. Next, we'll talk about product delivery. To ensure a product delivery runs smoothly, arrive at your assigned or chosen delivery location and time. Be sure to follow any specific instructions that may be communicated regarding your specific delivery location. Use a vehicle large enough to hold your entire order. Make sure your vehicle is free of car seats, strollers, etc. to maximize loading space. You will be required to get out of your vehicle and count and sign for the product. It is your responsibility to make sure you have your complete order. We will not fix shortage errors. Count, count, and recount before you leave the delivery site. If your troop misses your pickup due to an emergency, contact your regional Girl Scout Center immediately. After you pick up your product, sort into girl orders before allowing caregivers to pick up. This will help you identify a problem with orders before product leaves your pickup location. Prepare a receipt for each girl. When caregivers pick up, have them count and verify their order. Complete a receipt for each transaction. Remember, caregivers are financially responsible for all the product for which they sign. Provide each girl with a money envelope with their balance and date money is due. Be sure to set your deadline a few days before the troop's payment to the council is due to give you time to complete the final sale paperwork and get the deposit made on time. Remember to always give a signed receipt every time a caregiver turns in money. And remember, if you have a girl with multiple caregivers taking orders, be sure that each caregiver picks up their own order. Now we'll move on to the very important finance part of the fall product program. In order to meet sale deadlines, you should give caregivers a deadline to turn in their sale money. Make sure this deadline is communicated well in advance. If caregivers collect checks, they should be made payable to GSWO and deposited into the council's account. No, one should, no money should be collected for a far product until it is delivered. Remember, girls only need to collect for orders from their paper order card. Online orders are paid for with a credit card. All checks should be made payable to GSWO. Make sure to write your troop number on the memo line of each check you deposit. Anytime money changes hands, you must complete a receipt. Both parties sign and keep a copy. To determine how much your troop owes the council and how much you should keep for troop proceeds, click on the banking and payments icon. This will pull a report that shows troop proceeds and amount due to the council. The report automatically calculates in any online customer payments, so the amount listed under total owed is the amount that is still outstanding and should be deposited into the council's bank account. When making payments to the council, use only the fifth third council deposit ticket assigned to your troop. Do not use a ticket given to another troop or a deposit ticket from the counter at the bank. Do not use an old deposit ticket. These will not tie the deposit to your troop and your troop may not receive credit for the deposit. Do not transfer from your troop account into the council's account. If you need additional deposit slips, just call customer care, but please plan ahead to allow time for mailing or pickup. When completing the deposit slip, please write out all checks that are in the deposit. Write the check number and the amount of the check. This will help ensure accuracy when making the deposit. Remember to have your deposit slip prepared before you get to the bank and be sure to double check your math for accuracy. Some banks are not required to tally up checks when making a deposit, so be sure to list out the checks on the deposit ticket and double check your math. This will speed up the deposit process. All checks received should be deposited into the council's account. When you make your deposit, include a copy of the receipt in your final report envelope. Deposit your troop proceeds into your troop bank account. Include a copy of that deposit receipt in your final report envelope as well. 
troops should only deposit into the council's account the amount due to the council. Due to the high cost of issuing refunds, any troop that has an overpayment to the council of under $10 will not receive reimbursement. Please do not overpay. And remember, refunds can take up to 10 weeks to process. Although rare, there are instances when caregivers do not turn in the money. If your deadline is passed and you have a caregiver that still has an outstanding balance, you will need to complete the Unpaid Funds Collection Assistance Form. This can be found on our website at gswo.org slash fallproduct. Do not pay for the caregiver's debt out of troop proceeds, even if a caregiver promises to pay in a day or two. In order to protect the troop's earnings, you must complete this collection form. Keep your entire troop proceeds and deduct the amount the caregiver owes from the total due to the council. For example, if your troop owes the council $400 and the caregiver owes a balance of $50, you would deposit $350 into the council's account and submit the unpaid funds collection assistance form for the outstanding $50. When completing this form, you must also attach the signed permission slip and the signed receipts for pickup and for any payments made. Forms will not be accepted without these supporting documents. Without submitting the appropriate forms, any outstanding balance will become the responsibility of the troop sale manager. Make sure to put these forms in your troop's final report envelope at the end of the sale. It's also important to remember that troop managers or caregivers who are delinquent in paying their balance will be sent one missing funds letter before the case is handed over to an outside collection agency or law enforcement office. Volunteers with missing funds will be unable to hold a troop or service unit position. Now we'll move on to finalizing the sale. Rewards will ship to your service unit fall product coordinator in early December. Once they arrive, they will sort into troop orders and let you know when they'll be distributed. To determine which rewards go to which girl, you'll want to log into M2 and from your dashboard, select the delivery ticket icon. You can print or view delivery tickets by girl. Be sure to distribute rewards to the girls right away. The final step of the sale is to complete the fall sale final report envelope and enclose your deposit receipts along with any collection documents. You will need to complete this and turn the envelope into your service unit fall sale coordinator no later than December 2nd. And one last thing, at the end of the sale, please be sure to go to our website and complete a fall sale evaluation. It only takes a few minutes and the information is used in planning future sales. We value your feedback and look forward to creating a program that both girls and volunteers will love. If you have questions, please contact your service unit fall product program coordinator, or you can contact customer care at 888-350-5090 or customercare at gswo.org. Be sure to also join the GSWO volunteer Facebook group to stay up to date on fall sale information and to share ideas with other volunteers. <laughs>